Thank you, Your Honor. <coughs> now, just littles. Uh, Mr. Clark went uh, in great detail through the plea and disposition agreement. Do you recall that? Yes, sir. Now, um, you had indicated on direct examination that you were aware that uh, you were looking at 20 and one-half years. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Now, with that, um, well, let me, let me just start off right off the top. Ms. Littles, did you shoot and murder Officer Benner? No, sir, I didn't. Did you, Miss Littles, uh, happen to uh, shoot yourself in the foot at the bottom of your foot? No, sir, I didn't. Who shot Officer Benner? Andrew. Who shot you? Andrew. Now, Mr. Clark went into great detail about what you didn't do at the scene. Were there other people, lay people, that didn't go in and assist Officer Benner? They didn't render medical aid, that stayed back? Yes, there was a lot of people that stayed back because okay. he had people already on him. Okay. And, so the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what did Andrew Romero do after he shot and murdered Officer Benner? He took off in the SUV. So he fled. Yes. And he left Officer Benner. My suggestion to you is what, what, what happened to Officer Benner after Andrew shot him? Um, Andrew took off and Officer Benner laid on the ground. Now, Mr. Clark also indicated uh, in the statements there that he, he talked about there was no plan. Now, was there a plan prior to you stopping at Arby's to shoot Officer Benner? No, sir, there wasn't. Okay. Now, after you, you took off from Arby's, uh, what did... Andrew tell you? He said that he's going to push me out because he didn't want me to be involved in anything that was going to happen. Okay. And what had Andrew Romero told you on numerous occasions about what was going to happen if he had been stopped or arrested by a police officer? He said that he was never going to go back to, that he was not going to go back to prison, so it was either going to be him or the police. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Clark also talked about how you were on probation. Correct. And were you aware, uh, were you or were you not aware of whether Andrew Romero was also facing a probation violation? Yes, he was. Okay. At the time of May 25th, 2015? Yes. Now, he also talked about uh, selling drugs. Now, that day when you went to the halfway house, who were you with? Andrew. Okay. Who drove you there? Andrew. Had you told Andrew what you were going to do at the halfway house? Yes. And the money that you are going to receive from that, who is it going to benefit? Both of us. So when he talks about 
dealing meth, who are you dealing meth with? Andrew. Now, we talked about, I'm going to jump around because it was kind of hard to follow, uh, Mr. Clark. Um, well, I had a hard time following Mr. Clark, I should say. Um, okay. <laughs> now, he talked about doing drugs and who was... Um, Okay, I'll go back to that. Now, he talked about Crystal Romero, about you doing drugs with Crystal Romero. Correct. Are you aware if Andrew did drugs with Crystal Romero? Yes. And what kind of drugs was he doing with Crystal Romero? He would just go over there and he would shoot up his heroin. Yeah. Now, when Andrew would shoot up and, and do all this stuff, how would you say his state of mind was when he would fix while he was driving? Um, he knew what he was doing. Would it be kind of a functioning addict? Yes, Andrew's a fun functioning addict. And would Andrew, you were doing methamphetamine. Methamphetamine is a, basically a speed. It keeps you hyper, is that right? Correct. Okay. Now, that day, was Andrew also smoking meth? Yes. On May 25th, I'm, I'm just saying. May yes. 25th? Okay. Both of you were, right? Yes, sir. So he wasn't nodding out while you were driving down Southern. No, he wasn't. And how would you describe Andrew after he shot up? On that day? On any day. Um, it depended. I mean, after, if he would just use heroin, he would, he would be... Um, He'd be hyped up for a little bit, and then he would nod out. <coughs> but if he was mixing it with the um, heroin with the meth. Calling a speedball? A speedball. He was, he was pretty alert. Okay. And when he was smoking meth? He was alert. Yeah. Now, and you, you, uh, we talked a little bit about... Um, Uh, Angel. Angel is Andrew's cousin, is that no, correct? No, Angel is um, Andrew's auntie. Auntie, okay. And he goes over there to shoot up. Mm -hmm. They share. Yes. 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 Okay. Now, have you seen Angel lately? Yes, I have. How's the portrait? 